Hi, Krista. So I really enjoyed the dramatic reading video. Uh, Dr. Bronner was an interesting fella, and I have read his works in the shower many a time. I wanted to make a video for you about some words that I really love, especially really the sound of the words more than their meaning. So here they are. Cloying is excessively or nauseatingly sweet. Chatoyant, it means shining like a cat's eye. I like that one especially because it sounds kind of like an automatopoeia. Assiduity is careful and constant attention to one's work. A flange is a rim or a rib on a circular object. Ostensive means demonstrable or evident, whereas ostensible means appearing correct but not actually being correct. A sobriquet is an assumed name by which somebody is better known than their given name. A caucus is a group of people within an organization that share interests and meet together. And tertiary means well, basically third. Ontology is the study of truth. Epistemology is the study of knowledge. Then there are a bunch of loan words from Yiddish that I love. I don't know why particularly Yiddish has so many great words that it's given to English. But golly, are we lucky. Verklempt means moved to tears or upset. A putz is a literally a penis, but it means a not very nice person. Chutzpah is audacity or courage. A schmuck is a person of low character. A schlemiel or klutz is a clumsy person. Nosh is any kind of food or snack. And zaftig means pleasantly plump or curvaceous, especially in describing a person. Schlep means haul or hike. Stupping means having sex and... Tchotchkes are any kind of small decorative objects, objets d'art, little gorgeous things. Far-fetched means incredible, oubliette is a secret dungeon, somnambulism is sleepwalking. Laxadaisical is lazily inconsistent, a skosh is just a little bit, and obsequious means smarmy or servile. Shenanigans means silliness, tomfoolery, or monkey shining. Abdicate means to abandon one's throne, and defenestration means throwing something through a window. Interestingly, the great defenestration of Prague, actually the second great defenestration of Prague in 1555, was what precipitated the Thirty Years' War. Ooh, it got dark there for a second. Speaking of which, a penumbra is the light part of a shadow, like that part right, right there. Um, fuchsia is a beautiful pinky purpley color. Perfidy means deceit or untrustworthiness. A scoff law is a person who knows the law but breaks it anyway. Psychedelic means mind changing or mind expanding, but is usually used in the sense of, you know, like, trippy. Salacious means obscene or overly interested in sexual matters. Glitzy means ostentatiously attractive. And libellous means defamatory, that is, insulting somebody's character falsely. Loquacious and interloquacious both mean talkative. Lugubrious means appearing sad or mournful. And incorrigible means having a bad character or flaw that is not able to be corrected. So there, in no particular order, were 42 of my favorite words. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you tomorrow. Loquacious and interloquacious both mean talkative. Oh fuck, I'm still recording.